Chicago. Today is Cesar uh, Chavez Day of Service and Learning and we've partnered with Woodcraft Rangers um, and we had about 12 of our students come out and help our younger kids plant uh, a garden. And what's happening is that um, our youth foundation is currently um, taking on an organic theme, um, growing gardens of wellness and creating a community that really cares about their environment, the beautification of um, their space, um, and creating places where there's outdoor education. And we really want parents to come out with their students. And maybe once the garden has flowered and bloomed this spring, that they can come out and do some reading and really enjoy their outdoor space. So we really want to, um, as a goal for the Youth Foundation, our youth leaders, to go out and make beautiful places for people to, to thrive. Cesar Chavez was born in Yuma, Arizona on March 31st, 1927, a very long time ago. Cesar Chavez was a farm worker, labor leader, and civil rights activist. In 1942, Cesar Chavez bega began working as a farm worker. The three years later, in 1945, Chavez joins the Navy. He stays in the Navy for only two years. In 1948, he joined the National Agricultural Workers Union, also known as the NAWV. Then, in 1952, Cesar Chavez is recruited for Saul Alinsky's Community Service Organization. The Saul Alinsky's Community Service Organization was an activist group that fought against racial and economic discrimination. Dr. Cesar Chavez was a Mexican-American farm worker, labor leader, and civil rights fighter. He organized a unit called National Farm Worker Association, the NFWA. He leads many farm workers into nonviolent protests against pesticides and many other things. Tomorrow's March 31st. Our Governor Arnold made tomorrow a national state holiday intended to promote service in the community in honor of Tavi's life and work. All government office, community college, and most of the library are closed except kindergarten to 12th grade school. Tomorrow is a really important day to celebrate and we really pay more attention to it. Thank you. work and the contributions that the, the young people are making in our community is unmatched anywhere else. And this is the direction that we really need to take our youth. Get them into an area where they can actually do hands-on work with younger kids and really be our youth leaders are they are going to you know continue to give back to their communities and that's our goal.